This is Johnny's Prime. My name is Asai Bidiak, and I'm here to run by you the very latest local and international sports news. In our first story, Chairman of the Commonwealth Sports Awards and the boxing promoter, Al Hamilton, has revealed to Joy Sports many Ghanaian boxers do not respect contracts they sign with boxing promoters in the country. The renowned boxing promoter believes the conduct of the boxers negatively affects their profession. Al Hamilton is therefore calling on the Ghana Boxing Authority to be robust in dealing with Ghanaian boxers who renege on agreements with promoters. The experiences are that the, the boxer doesn't want to respect or honor what contracts are about. And to a certain extent, the GBA needed to have been a bit more robust in, in ensuring that the, the license holder, once you sign a contract, you, you uphold it. So that's been the situation. I, I know of one individual, Vince McBean, who invested some money in a couple of fighters. He's sitting in his living room in England watching a contest, and there is his boy boxing, and he knows nothing at all about it. <laughs> yes, that happens. So it's about respecting the contract. Yes, very much so. You know, and you have a situation where, obviously, there is the there's a language situation. So, but it's down to that, and I'm I'm even seeing that locally. Recently, there's been some uh, antipathy between Bukumbanku, who I know quite well, uh, and his management over whether he should fight someone or not. Now, it, uh, Bukumbanku, I have a great time for him, and you know, he's a character, and he's been around the scene, I know him. But the point is this, if his management is saying, listen, you're going to fight fighter A, then you're not in a position to negotiate with fighter B. Those are the anomalies that I'm talking about. And what you've found is that in the past, you'll have someone come and whisper to your boxer and say, listen, I can do a little bit better for you. And the boxer is on the contract to you. And the next thing you know, that person is, is, is flown the roost and gone to America or gone whatever. They've gone and they've got beaten. Let me, let me tell you of another situation which I found very, very painful. George Ashi. George Ashi was, his, his, his local management were offered over 12,000 pounds to box for the vacant Commonwealth title. Tell you that I say that and I can be quoted. For Honor Frank Warren promotion. I was in the process of the negotiation. They turned it down. And what did they do? They fought Emmanuel Tego, lost, lost their, 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 their rating, and they fought for a fraction of the money that they, they would have got. It was a, mad, was a, was a bad decision. Now to Spain, where former president of FC Barcelona, Sandro Rossell, has been arrested as part of money laundering investigation. There's more in this report. A number of other people were also held as police raided nine offices and homes in northeastern Catalonia. The arrests are part of an investigation into right sales relating to Brazil, police sources say. Sandro Rossell was president of Barcelona between 2010 and 2014 when he resigned after a Spanish court's decision to investigate the 2013 signing of Brazilian Neymar. In June 2016, Barcelona paid a fine of 5.5 million euros over the 25-year-old's move from Santos. The club was accused of tax fraud, which it denied. Sandra Rossell's wife was among those also arrested on Tuesday. According to a newspaper in Spain, the arrests are part of a joint operation between the Spanish police and the FBI related to the United States-led investigation into corruption at FIFA. And that does it for sports here on Joy News Prime. My name is Asai Bede for more sports, For more sports news, go to the sports page of myjoyonline.com. You can also follow Joy Sports on social media. On Twitter, we are at Joy Sports GH. And on Facebook, we are at Joy Sports. Have a good evening.